Good afternoon to all my investor agents. I'm about to shoot a um, a quick video to show you guys how to pull uh, pre foreclosures off of Zillow. First, you go to Zillow.com. Then you uh, go to uh, hold on one second. Let's let's reboot this real quick. Go to Zillow.com. You put in the zip code. Let's go with two zero zero one one. You search under that zip code. Waiting for the page to actually load up. Do you go on the listing type? The type of listing that we want is pre foreclosure. It's a whole lot of pre foreclosures uptown, it seems like. Wow. This has only been on Zillow for one day. So, this is what I need you guys to do. Click on that. And this array is the information that we actually want. This array is currently listed with a uh, Remax. We, we want the ones that's not actually listed. But the thing is, um, that's why we, uh, that's why I need you guys to actually do. Um, is to take down this actual address right here. And also the actual um, lawyer information. And once we got that, that's all we need. The lawyer's information and the actual property address. Let's try another one. Let's try this one right here. Okay, this one right here is listed, but like I said, it's a pre foreclosure. Take down the address and also the lawyer information, the lender information. Hold on one second. Who is this? There's no actual lender on this one right here because this, this right must be through an actual hard money lender, but uh, let's find like a good one for you. A real juicy one. Um, hold on one second here. Yeah, it's a good one right here. It's a condo, though, but uh, same general concept. Take down this information right here, the actual address. Bedrooms, bath, square footage. And put it in the spreadsheet. And also, the name of the actual or lawyer that has the actual property, their address, and their phone number. And put it in the spreadsheet. And once you get that information, then you send that actual information to me and Chris, and then we'll take it from there. And we'll do some more research and basically uh, and do something called a skip trace on these properties and give you the actual skip trace information and have you guys to actually call the actual homeowner and see if they want to sell their property. And that's it. Like I said, I'm going to keep some guys a little like two and three and five in the videos like this.